Hey everybody, welcome to Going Deeper. My name is Rich Stitzel, and today I have an exercise series that I want to present to you that is a primer for two-way coordination. Now, for you advanced drummers, before you walk away and think that this is going to be too easy for you, I encourage and urge you to go ahead and try these exercises because you may discover some things about your playing and your coordination that you thought you had down, but you didn't. So what we're going to do is a simple two-way coordination exercise that goes through a series of about 10 different permutations. Now the point of this exercise is multifaceted. One thing we're going to be doing is working obviously on our coordination. We're going to be working on our feel. You can always work on your feel when you're practicing something. Your relaxation, your comfort with the exercise, your comfort with your posture and with your body. And then the big thing for me with all the drum mantra material is an extended amount of repetitions. The, the, the important part about repetition is that's what builds muscle memory. So we are repeating something long enough that our body starts to learn that motion and that coordination on its own. That way, when it's time to make a musical expression, our body knows what our mind is thinking. So if we if we, if we want to express ourselves in a certain way, we don't have to analyze so much and try to hope that we're gonna get it right. Our body just automatically knows how to express that idea. So we're trying to merge the body and the mind with these coordination exercises, and that comes from a lot of repetition. Drum mantra, rhythmic repetition. That's what drum mantra means. So. The repetition part of this is going to challenge everyone. It challenges me, and I've worked on this stuff a ton. Because the amount of time that we're gonna play each of these exercises is going to seem almost extreme. It's not gonna be that bad, though. It's eight measures of each of these exercises in a row. But when you're playing something really simple, and it's taking a long time to get through it, your mind wanders, and when your mind wanders, mistakes start to happen. So if you're an advanced drummer, what you are working on is training your mind to focus. So if you're a new drummer, you're probably thinking about the coordination. If you're an advanced drummer, you're training your mind to stay centered and stay focused, okay? So this is a cross training that works for every single level of player. All right, so let's get into this two-way coordination, a primer. Okay, so this lesson series is five parts long and I'm going to present parts one and two to you today. The first section, we will be just dealing with one note, the quarter note. It's a one beat long sequence, just the quarter note. So what's gonna happen is the left hand is going to play quarter notes on a snare drum. The right hand is going to play quarter notes on a ride cymbal. Unison, quarter notes, 83 BPM. Eight measures is what we're going to do of this. Eight measures of unison quarter notes at 83 beats per minute. It might sound like that is so simple you're not even going to try it. Trust me, try it. It's only eight measures, but see how well you do with eight measures of unison quarter notes. Are you relaxed? Is your body comfortable? Are you consistent? Are you hitting the drums the same velocity each time? Are you able to concentrate or are you checked out and thinking about what you're going to have for lunch? There's a lot of things that you can be doing while you're playing these chord notes. It's only 32 notes. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Okay, great, let's move on to the second exercise. Now, left hand continues to play quarter notes, but the right hand is going to play the next permutation of 16th notes over. So the right hand is going to play the E's while the left hand plays the quarter notes. One E, two E, three E, four E. 
Okay, here we go again. Eight measures, 1E, 2E, 3E, 4E. Concentrate, relax, pay attention to as much that's going on as possible. Stay focused, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, great, we're gonna move the 16th note over again. So now, left hand still plays quarter notes, right hand is playing the ands. One and, two and, three and, four and. Keep your concentration, keep your relaxation, keep your focus, here we go. Great, for the next one, you've guessed it, we're gonna move the left hand one more 16th note over to the uhs. So now left hand's chord notes, right hand is uh. One, a two, a three, a four. Eight measures, here we go. Excellent. Now the right hand is going to play all the eighth notes while the left hand plays quarter notes. One and two and three and four and. Eight measures again. Let's do it. Okay, great. Now let's move all those eighth notes over one sixteenth note. So now the right hand is playing E, a, uh. one E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a. Uh. Eight repetitions. Pay attention. Make sure that you end when the exercise ends. It's easy to go into autopilot and forget how many measures you've played. So you're playing eight measures exactly. You're allowed to end on the downbeat, but nothing more. So if you play beyond what the example is doing, that means that you've lost concentration. So that's something you really want to pay attention to and focus on. Concentration is vital when performing music. And the easier, the easier something is when we're playing, the, the more likely our mind is going to wander. So we really want to train ourselves to be laser focused, being in the moment with the music. That's how to make real music. When you are really there at every moment, paying attention to everything that's going on. So we're training ourselves to focus. Here we go, eight measures, E, uh. Okay, this next one's going to seem super simple because there's hardly any notes being played. But the trick with hardly any notes means there's a lot of space. So the right hand is going to play beats two and four, the left hand quarter notes. 
one, two, three, four. It's going to feel maybe backwards to some of you because a rock beat would be the opposite. Two and four would be the left hand and maybe quarter notes to the right hand, but we're doing the opposite. Left hand, quarter notes, right hand, two and four, eight measures, here we go. Okay, excellent. Now, if you thought that had a lot of space, this next one's going to really have a lot of space because now the left hand only plays on beat three. One, two, three, four. Eight measures again. Here we go. Okay, now's when we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. We're gonna, we're gonna bump up the intensity level quite a bit. We're gonna go into, instead of a measure of 4-4 four, four with just quarter notes, we're gonna now go to a measure of 3-4. It's shorter, but it's going to be more challenging because the right hand is going to play dotted eighth notes. So what's happening is the left hand is playing quarter notes, the right hand is playing dotted eighth notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a bop, boop, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop. So we're playing the three to four, three sixteenth note groupings or a dotted eighth note, to four, four sixteenth notes or a quarter note, the three to four polymetric relationship. We're gonna play eight measures, but now we're in three, four, so it's gonna move quicker. Here we go. Okay, and finally, the last exercise in this section, we're gonna now lengthen the measure to five four. The left hand is still playing one quarter note, one quarter note each time. The right hand is now gonna play every fifth sixteenth note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a. So if we play every fifth sixteenth note, a quarter note is four sixteenth notes. So every five sixteenth notes means that the hit is gonna happen one sixteenth note further away from the quarter note each time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a. Eight measures, here we go. Okay, great, now here's the deal. You can choose any two limbs that you'd like. And I suggest trying every single combination you can think of. Hands, feet, reverse hands, reverse feet. Right side, right hand, right foot, reverse. Left hand, left foot, reverse. Right hand, left foot, reverse. 
left hand right foot reverse so that's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's 12 different versions of this exercise to cross train every single part of a two limb combination okay now here we go with what i call the meditation now if you're if you're part of drum mantra you know that every every set of exercises has a final performance or meditation that means we're going to play all the exercises in a row in a certain pattern these exercises can last anywhere from 8 to 14 to 30 minutes without stopping depending on how long and how intricate the, the exercise is so the pattern for drum mantra exercise performance or meditation is eight repetitions of each exercise and then you go back and you do four repetitions of each exercise and then two repetitions of each exercise and then one time each and then one time each one more time so eight measures of each four measures of each two measures of each one measure of each one measure of each okay let's go ahead and try the entire performance or meditation of two-way coordination a primer part one here we go
Okay, here we go with section two of two-way coordination, a primer. This is going to, we're just gonna add one eighth note and it's going to totally change the game. Now we're getting to stuff that an advanced player may be challenged with beyond just being able to concentrate. So we're gonna jump into this. This is now a two beat long phrase with the left hand. So the first section was just chord notes. One beat long phrase with the left hand. Now, two beat long phrase will be a quarter note and two eighth notes. One, two, and. That's the ostinato that the left hand plays. The right hand is gonna do the exact thing that it just did in section one. The permutations of downbeats, e's, ands, us, all the eighth notes, e's and us, two and four, beat three, then we do the dotted thing, and then we're gonna do the five note grouping thing over, dot, 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 dot. We're gonna, we're gonna look at this as some four, four, but it's only a two beat left hand ostinato. Okay, so number one, one, two, and three, four, and chord notes on the right symbol. Bop, 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 bop. Eight measures, here we go. Okay, great, now here we get a little bit more complex. This is kind of an awkward thing if you've never done it before. One, two, and three, four, and E, 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 boppy, boppy, boom, boppy, boppy, boom. It's gonna create a neat little pattern. Dive into it, eight measures, really concentrate, make sure everything is consistent and comfortable and that you're focused, you're breathing, and I'll see you in a second. Here we go. Okay, great. The next exercise, we're gonna go to ands on the ride symbol. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Here we go. Okay, this next one's probably one of the more tricky ones. The ride symbol goes to the uh. One, a two, and a three, a four, and a. Eight measures, repetition, here we go. All right, the next exercise, all eighth notes. One, two, and three, four, and. All right, let's do it.
This is a fun one because now we're playing E's and us with the right hand, same pattern with the left hand. One E, a two beat, boop beat, boop ba, ba, boop ba, boop ba, boop ba, ba, boop ba, boop ba, boop ba, ba, boop ba, boop ba. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're going to move into one that's kind of simple. If the exercise is simple technically, that gives you the opportunity to focus on all the other aspects. Relaxation, consistency, breathing, focus, intention, clarity, sound. What the, what the, how, how well are the drums sounding? How consistent are they? Okay, So a lot of things you can start to think about when you're not thinking about the coordination. So the right hand is playing beats two and four. One, Two and three, four and eight measures. Here we go. Okay, the next one, we're going to move the right hand to just beat three. One, two, and three, four, and. This can be trickier than you think. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of opportunity to forget that your right hand is supposed to play on beat three. So let's see how it goes for you. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to increase the complexity level quite a bit because now we're doing a two beat phrase, one, two, and underneath a three beat phrase, the dotted eighth note, one, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a. Now a three beat phrase does not resolve at the same amount of time that a two beat phrase resolves. So we're going to have to play that three beat phrase twice, two measures of three, four, that way we can play that two beat pattern three times underneath it. Now, the counting is a little awkward. So instead of counting, what we've been doing is going one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and, which four is duple, that pattern is duple, two. So it resolves within itself very cleanly. When we count it in three, four, it adds a new level of complexity. One, two, and three, one, and two, three, and. One, two, and three, one, and two, three, and one, right? So this is going to be a two measure phrase of three, four, and we're gonna repeat it eight times. So it's gonna last a little bit longer than the other eight repetition patterns because we're playing two measures of three. All right, good luck, here we go. Okay, if that was challenging for you, you are not alone. It is not easy. Hopefully you rewound it, worked on it a bunch. If, if this was something that you tried and it fell apart and you got frustrated, 
Take your time with it. It is very worth mastering this exercise. Not because you're going to all of a sudden be in a band and go, bop, ba do bop, ba do bop, ba bop. It's because when you connect that those dots, the, your, your neuro network is changing and you are now understanding rhythmic relationships on a deeper level. You're understanding the complexity of a dotted eighth note over a two note rhythm, a chord note and two eighth notes. There's a lot going on there. Don't give up. Don't make an excuse. Definitely don't, you know, pay attention if you ever say this. When am I ever going to use that on a gig? If you say, when am I ever going to use that on a gig? There's a great indicator that it's something maybe you should spend some time working on. Now, if it's a real weird, crazy thing that doesn't really make any sense, you've got to use things that are practical. This exercise is practical. It does a lot of different things that are going to train your mind and your body to understand a different level of complexity. So I highly recommend working through this if you can't do it yet. Okay? For those of, that, of you that could do it, we're going to add another level of complexity with a final exercise in this session, section, which is 5-4. We're going to play every fifth, sixteenth note with the right hand while we play the two note grouping with the left hand. Now, in five, we count it like this one, two, and three, four, and five, one, and. So, we're, oop, we have to do two bars because five doesn't work with two. We have to do two bars of five. Two goes into ten. So, we have to count two bars of five one, two, and three, four, and five. One, and two, three, and four five and one then we're back to the beginning one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a five e and a okay it's a two measure long phrase we're still going to play it eight times though this is a long phrase get comfortable with it it's long enough to start becoming distracted and losing your place this is a challenging one good luck here we go Okay, excellent. Now that you've done each piece individually, we're going to do section two, meditation. Eight repetitions of each, all the way down. Even those two measure phrases are both eight repetitions. And then four, and then two, and then once each, and then once each one more time. Now once at the in the three, four, and the five, four, that means two measures of once. Okay? Good luck. Here we go.
Okay, great. I hope you enjoyed the first two sections of two-way coordination of primer. There are three more sections in the members area of drummantra.com if you want to go deeper on this stuff. It's all sitting over there for you. If you would like to get the MP3 and the PDF of the first two sections completely for free, you can go to drummantra.com slash 5050. 50. You can get the PDF to both of these sections and the MP3 play along of the meditation. So come on over, get those things. You can practice as much as you want on these. And remember, it's not just this, it's 12 different variations that you can go for. So just if you've mastered one, give yourself an opportunity to do a different limb combination. Remember, there are 12 different two limb combinations. Okay, enjoy, I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.